Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. So I've been beta testing this Klein meter for a couple of weeks now. I bought it about two weeks ago. Been using it every day in the field. And I'm uh, gonna explain, gonna show you the model in a second and pricing and show you why I picked this meter. Um, so let's start with, with why. I get a lot of questions. People want help with their uh, their solar equipment and stuff and the majority of them don't have a voltmeter. So let's start with number one, safety. You don't need to be sticking your hands in no high voltage uh, panels or you know inverters or anything like that unless you can check the voltages to make sure it's safe where you put your hands around stuff like that and then when you're working with solar you can get to dangerous dc voltages too so you got a threat of ac voltages dc voltages that can injure you so it's an essential tool number one for safety you need a meter before you start messing with anything electrical you just you have to have a meter. There's there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You need a meter to be safe. All right, number two, um, you need a meter that can read DC amperage to be able to test your, your panels, test your batteries, your inverters, stuff like that. So that leads into why I picked this meter. It's a budget-friendly meter of good quality. I've used this model in the past. I've never owned it until a couple weeks ago. I used a uh, business associates meter, and I really liked it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fond of my fluke and field piece meters, but uh, the comparable fluke and field piece meters to this model are roughly $400. That would be a fluke 375 or a field piece uh, SC680. They'd be comparable to this. Uh, this particular model is a CL800. It's $129. So, you know, that's, you know, if you're buying thousands of dollars worth of panels, watch another $129 uh, for your safety and for your equipment. So, uh, you know, I highly recommend getting either this meter, and there's also a budget meter that Klein makes as well. It's called the CL390. It is only $92, and I'll have links to these meters in the description. And if you think you're going to get into something crazy, they also make a CL900 that will read 2,000 amps AC and DC, which is big, big power. Uh, I'm assuming most of you watching this video will not be working with anything around 2,000 amps, and you can see that, you know, I got the 600 amp version and it's more sufficient for my needs as well. Uh, I'm not going to go over all the features of this meter today. The That would make the video like four hours long. Just kidding, but no. We're going to go over basic stuff today. Uh, just a just couple of, you know, how to use it in the field situations. A couple of features on it. Uh, if you ask questions about it, I'll probably be covering that in a future video. Anything I don't cover today. So let me go over some of the basic functions on it. Of course, you can see we've got volts, AC and DC, amps, AC and DC, resistance, diode check, hertz, duty cycle, uh, capacitance, temperature, and low impedance mode. I said, well, I'll go over all this eventually. It's going to take multiple videos to cover all this. I'll use it where I find a, a case use for it to show you to demonstrate everything. But the main thing we're focusing on today is going to be AC and DC voltage, AC, DC amperage, uh, and resistance. We'll get into all these other fun things in a future video. All right, enough jaw and show us how it works. All right, so when you get out of the box, you're going to put batteries in the back. It uses uh, triple A's, two triple A's, and uh, they also make a strap, a magnetic strap for the back. I did not know that that did not come with it from the factory, so I'll have the magnetic strap ordered. It should be in, in a few days. So that's my only gripe so far is it did not come with the accessory to have the magnetic strap. As you can see, I've not even used the type K stuff. I've been strictly on solar with this since I've had it. And uh, yeah, I enjoy it. It's a good, good little meter. I've actually pulled my fluke meter out and put this Klein in place of my regular troubleshooting bag. But anyhow, enough, John. Let's get to it. So you're gonna have the off, off uh, dial right there. And you can see we're going to go to volts, AC, and DC. So we'll flip it on. Nice bright display. You can see the sinusoidal wave patterns. That means we're in volts AC. And to get to DC, you just hit the select button. It's auto ranging on. DC voltage but you can also select the scale so you can see change the scale on it by hitting the range button so now let's go to amperage you can see the we're on AC the sinusoidal wave so we're in AC amperage right now and to get to DC amperage you just hit that button and you may see a reading right here well it's not clamped on anything well this meter so sensitive it picks up stuff from around it from the electromagnetic fields and it says so in the book that you will need to zero it out sometimes on the DC so just hold the zero button and you're dead on the money now 
and uh, we'll read resistance and stuff too i'll try to show you a little use for that uh here in just a minute as well it's also got a you know range function max amend function a hold button and uh also the hold button does a little light right there so you can see inside the uh panels or whatever you're working on in low light conditions but yeah i like that it's got the little little light on the end and uh we'll put the leads on it and go check a couple of things out and uh, yeah, I just, I like this meter, it don't weigh very much. It's supposedly drop rated to two meters and change. So, uh, you know, I love it. So if you wanna check a, your, your PV array, a single panel, a string, whatever you want to check, uh, take the meter, you'll run the selector switch to amperage. It automatically comes up in AC amperage. You'll hit the select button. It goes to DC amperage. Uh, 0.05, that's just a little noise. You can zero it or not, we're gonna zero zero and then we'll go and clamp around the wire there you go 1.67 amps so you can see this will fluctuate depending on the load from your charge controller and stuff like that uh, i'm sorry this is not more impressive uh the batteries are full and uh it's just barely idling along right now but you know that shows you a pretty good example of how this meter works and it's pretty accurate to what the uh, inverter itself on the charge controller is reading within a tenth of an amp so very nice to check the voltage on this series string of small panels here so i'm gonna put the meter oh, it went too far put it on voltage you see it's on ac i'm going to hit the select button that's going to be auto ranging dc then i'll take the leads down here and go to my leads off the panels and 91.6 volts dc I'm not going to cover ac on the meter today just focusing on you know, solar stuff that you might need it for, but there's a good way to see your uh, your series strings put together. I'll show you one more function on today's video. I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, I'm gonna show you to use, check, use continuity or resistance to check, check a fuse. This can be very important when you're doing your own solar. So you take the selector wheel, go up to the continuity diode and resistance selection. You can see we're reading open you can change the range i'm just gonna leave it on auto range on continuity so it's gonna beep at us and if you don't want to beep you go through and select just resistance uh, we'll cover that in a future video but i always check with my leads before i take a reading just to see what the uh, resistance is to the meter leads so it's 0.4 of an ohm so if you want to check your fuse take one lead to one side of the fuse one lead to the other and 0.5 ohms 0.4 ohms so that fuse is good and if this fuse was bad, you would touch the fuse and you would get that reading right there. Just oh well, just open. So, uh, you know, just a quick way to check a fuse. So I barely scratched the surface on what this meter's capable of today. I just showed you a few little, you know, little functions on it stuff. It's capable of way more. I'll be covering it in upcoming videos. But uh, another warning before I close out the video. This electrical stuff's dangerous. Solar, even DIY solar stuff can hurt you or kill you. So exercise abundance of caution. If you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. Uh, you really need some training before you get into the high voltage DC and AC stuff. Uh, you know, the components are out there. You can put a you can put a solar panel set together to make 400 volts, 500 volts. And uh, yeah, you're getting real dangerous there. So, uh, you know, exercise a bunch of caution. Do it at your own risk. But anyhow, I love this meter. Going to be using it a lot more. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be covering more on it. Uh, if you don't mind, hit that like button. Uh, question or anything put in the comment section if you're not subscribed i greatly appreciate a subscription from you so uh, thank you for watching the off-grid mountain homestead y'all have a nice day